Welcome to part three of our interview with hilarious comedian Judah Friedlander, whose special premieres on Netflix October 31st. Yeah, even in Canada, when you drive from like, let's say, you know, Niagara Falls in Canada, and you drive over to the American side, as soon as you get to the American side, you just feel this There's a tension. tension. You feel tension. So I noticed that, Judah. That is amazing. That's yeah. a, I never put it that way. Yeah. But the first time I worked uh, in Canada, eh, I worked in Winnipeg for two weeks in a row eh, at yeah. that Rumors Comedy Club. Yeah, I had fun there. I did that once. I had, I had fun there, there, too. Good people. Everybody yeah. likes to laugh. It's cold. Yeah. It is. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I just noticed less tension. And I just couldn't yeah. put my finger on it, but that's yeah. it. And I would tell people, I go, you know, people aren't as wound up up there as they are in the United States. Yeah. Like everybody's afraid down here. Like someone, and it's, it's amazing too, that people are, are angry at people with less than them. Yeah. Like that's a normal thing in the United States yeah. that you are, you have disdain for people who have less than you. Like there's yeah. something like poverty. Just like, just like Jesus did. Just Je like Jesus. Jesus was always that way. Jesus said scorn the poor. Didn't yeah. he say that? Yeah. So you're, I was always brought up, I was brought up Catholic yeah. and you're supposed to take care of the poor. Yeah. And, and that all the Bibles all fill these stories about you're supposed to help the poor, poor, yeah. poor. And all we do is demonize poverty in the yeah. United States. Even people who work for a living, we demonize. Yeah. Fast food people. I know. That, that I saw a comedian who had his show on Comedy Central, Carlos Mencia. He had a show on Comedy Central. Comedy Central ran this as a promo. Hey, if you're 25, 30, 35, 40, and you still work at a fast food restaurant, you're fucking retarded. Yeah. And I was like, finally, somebody took the minimum wage worker down a few pegs. It's about yeah. time. Yeah. That was sad. a promo that Comedy Central ran. Yeah. That it's wasn't sad. just him being an asshole comedian. Yeah. That was Comedy Central running that. Nobody went, Duh, maybe we yeah. shouldn't do this. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, and the other thing with, with like, like, like Canada or some other countries, you know, they don't, and I don't know all the reasons for it, but they, they don't have the gun problem that this, that this country has. Right. You know? Michael Moore tried to answer yeah. that question. He didn't answer it, I don't think, in the column, Bowling for Columbine. He could, right, yeah, he did talk, discuss that, but it, I don't think there was an answer. He brought up that issue, that yeah. point, but I don't think there was an answer. Uh, my, 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 get, but let me get back to what I think is yeah. happening in Canada. What I thought, now this is going back yeah. almost 20 years now when I worked there. The waitress has the same health care as the owner of the club. Yeah. Nobody's worrying about if I get fired, I'm going to lose my health care. My kid's got diabetes. How am I going to get yeah, my... Yeah, they don't have to have a bake sale to Where am I going to do go my prescription? I got to yeah. have this job. So I got... So everybody... A lot of people in the United States are in jobs they fucking hate for the health care. Yeah. People up there, they leave their job if they don't like it. They have health care. Right. They don't have to worry about their kid not getting their prescription. There's less stress. Yeah. So there's less stress. It well, takes that stress right off, and people are more relaxed in Canada, eh? Which is maybe why they shoot each other less. Yeah, uh, that's a very good point. Um, when I was in London, uh, I took a cab and I was talking to the cabbie. Um, I asked him, you know, what, what their shift is. And it says, oh, the usual, you know, eight hours a day. I'm like, I'm like, really eight. That's all. Cause in New York, cab drivers work 12 hours shifts. Right. And they they partner up with a guy on a cab. Right. So that the cab is running 24 hours. Right. So each guy works 12 hours. And so... The car's running constantly. The guys are working constantly, and they're just making it. You know, the cabbies aren't making a lot of money. They're they're just squeaking by. So in England, they only work eight, and they do well with that. And they go to three years of school. The cab drivers they learn every street in the city, and uh, so it's like it's like a job that has more respect and higher income. You know, so people don't have to worry as much um it's let's it's less capitalist you know and also i you know I, I used to do a joke about this it's not in the special uh it's more of like a serious point it's not in the special about it's like how do we expect to have gun control in our own country when we don't practice it outside of our country ah. you know it, it's like we have a bigger we do more wars than any other country and so how so we're violent inside and out you know and i so i, I think to fix some of the violence in the country we need to fix it what we're doing outside the country yeah. too that's um, that's seen as unpatriotic, Judah. You know that. By the way, UK banned Uber. Oh yeah, I think that right. They kicked them out. Yeah, I they think. kicked out Uber. Yeah, I was yeah. just in Vancouver. No yeah. Uber up there either. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I'm in theory, I'm against Uber, right? I'm against. It it, it depends how it's used. Yeah. You know? And and theoretically, it can be used well, or it can be used in a very 
you know, this this gig economy, yeah. you know, can be used bad work because nobody's full time, nobody gets health care, right. and right. Uh, you know. So but, I don't use Go- Uber, yeah. but I do, I will use Lyft because I. Yeah. I'm, I'm told they're a little more humanitarian, and you can tip them on their on the app, which I like to tip. Right, right, right. I think Uber may have added that recently, they but, may only, eat recently. but only because Lyft had been doing right. it. Right. Yeah. I still think Uber's evil. Well, I think most corporations are evil. General, well, know. they don't. They're amoral. They're amoral. They, there's no morality. It's all about maximizing profits yeah. and maximizing profits in the short term. Yeah. Well, yes, I agree with you. I, I think morality is something that needs to be. And which is humanity, you know, <laughs> needs yeah. to be brought in in many levels, you know, not just for for corporate tax cuts when you do a charity thing, you know, but for real, you know. So, so. Uh, what would what would what do you think is a solution to uh, what's going on in politics right now? Because, you know, my my thing was that if, if we keep voting for Hillary Clinton. Uh, or corporate neoliberal corporatist, a mainstream war- Democrat, basically. That that right. we're going to keep getting worse and worse Trumps with worse and worse outcomes. Well, we're- you know, Steve Bannon. I remember him saying something several months ago when he said, "We view the press as the opposition party." Uh huh. So he's basically saying there, not explicitly, but he's saying the Democrats are not an opposition party to us. Ha! <laughs> he said the press is our opposition party. They're the enemy. So he's. Agreeing with you in the sense where he's not even worried about them because he knows they're not going to do it. They're going to go. They go along with everything. They like, went along with the Iraq like war. If, if you view Trump as an, an and the, the Trump regime as as an evil organization, how is what we have as mainstream Democrats going to fight that? Because they're not all that much different. You know, you know, how, I, 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 I do a bit on that in, 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 in the special, you know, and uh, so it's, you know. The Democrats really, you know, I mean, we've talked about this. They're they're not that much of an opposition party. The Republican Party, you know, they're they're very close on on many issues. On war, they're the on same. On war, they're exactly the same. Um, now they might not be the same as Trump. Trump's a little bit of an anomaly because he's, you know, well, he didn't want to bomb Russia. Well, he didn't want to bomb right, Syria. He, he they wanted want, him to, but he probably wants to bomb North Korea. Yeah, he sure you does. Know, he he will. He, he's more irresponsible than North Korea is. I I think. You I know? think so. And. Uh, so, you know, so the Democrats aren't like that with him, but on other things, yes, you know, so many of them applauded him when he, when he when he bombed Syria. Yeah. That was his. That's when he became yeah. president, according to uh, uh, to many Sir, people. <laughs> yeah, CNN and, uh, said it. Brian Williams. They all said. Uh, Raul yeah. Rivera also yeah. nutted in his pants yeah. when he did it. Um, but I think one thing that hopefully people will learn and. I, I don't do any of this explicitly in the special. Subliminally, some of it there is there where, you know, I, the right wing, I think, is much, the Republicans, much better at propaganda than the Democrats. The Democrats have really just, I don't even know if it's kindergarten level propaganda, re- really poor. You know, better I deal? Mean, you I don't mean, like tr- that? Tr- better deal? <laughs> <laughs> a better deal. <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the worst ever. <laughs> and then come actually having, actually having, the courage and confidence to come out on TV and, and pitch that I, yes. I find amazing. You know, I do too. Like, like, how did you? How are you that confident about this? A better deal, <laughs> you know, a better deal, a better, not a you're, new deal. You're basically admitting the one you've been pitching for years been... stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're admitting this one still isn't good. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the, so the, one of the great, I think, propaganda lies that the uh, Republican right wing has is that the Democratic Party is this extreme left uh, progressive liberal party. And they're not. And so many people who don't vote Democrat and who do vote Democrat believe that Republican propaganda lie. Yeah. So, so they get a lot. So, And, you know, many people in this country, they're, they're too busy to know all the details of what's going on. And uh, so I, I think, you know, getting it out there that, because so many people also, they look at things as good guys and bad guys. Right. You know, and I, I remember getting, a tell, getting an argument with someone like that. They're like, so, so what, you're saying you hate the Republicans? And you think the Democrats do a lot of bad things, too? Like, dude, that, well, it, it blows people's minds sometimes. They, they don't know what to do. So they're like, well, then who's the good guy? I'm like, no, it's both bad guys. <laughs> yes. It's bad guys versus bad guys. 
you know, I think I think the the Trump Republicans are worse, but they're still bad guys versus bad guys, and it's, and it blows some people's mind because people they want to believe in heroes. Yes, they they want someone to look up. That's like a natural. I mean, yep. that's part of what the world champion persona is a little bit. Also, is like like why do you idolize some people? Why do you why do you look for heroes? You know, um, so you know I think the more people get educated with stuff, they might actually just not vote party wise, but vote actually on issues. You know, my my theory. Hopefully, I, but I don't know. You know, I had a theory. If everybody voted their conscience, meaning if everybody I knew personally, yeah. who voted for the vote Green on New your moralities and your conscience, you yeah, know. who voted, who who believed in a Green New Deal, actually mm-hmm. voted for a Green New yeah. Deal instead of yeah. propping up the establishment, yeah. we would have wiped out the Democratic yeah. Party because we would have probably got ten, fifteen percent of the vote. The Democrats can't win without ten, fifteen percent of the fucking progressive yeah. vote ever again. Yeah, the, the only problem is there, Judah, is the Democrats don't mind losing. They don't mind losing. They're paid to lose. They're well, chosen by the donors. Chuck Schumer is a leader of the Senate because he's a leader or because he gets the most money from Wall Street course. and he spreads it around to of his course. friends. Same thing with Nancy yeah. Pelosi. She's right. not a leader. She right. gets the most money from right. Silicon Valley and she spreads it around to her friends. Right. Well, that's one reason I don't call myself a political comic because I'm like, I'm not interested in politics. I'm interested in human rights. Uh-huh. And I think they're different things, unfortunately. I you know, um, I, I, you know, but what do you uh, call it? What do you call yourself? What's that? You call yourself a human rights comic? Uh, yeah, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I am a human rights comic. How are you, everybody? You and no, Dick, no. you and Dick Gregory gonna do a double bill? Uh, I was a fan of Dick Gregory. Me too. Yeah, he was he was He's... a legend. I got to meet him once briefly a few years ago. Oh, did, I never got to meet him. Never crossed paths. Fascinating guy, man. Fascinating. Yeah, I heard guy. great stuff about him. A friend of mine, uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Real Black, R E E L, Black, and uh, he's got tons of interviews with Dick Gregory from the past couple years. They're, oh, they're no fascinating. Kidding. Fascinating. I've heard. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I actually heard one from him recently. Maybe it was that. Channel. It might have been. Yeah. 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 Fascinating. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, listen. Well, uh, thank you for coming in and thanks being for our, having me here. for being our guest. Everybody's going to check out your special. It's October thirty first. It's on Netflix. Yep. It's called um, "United States is the Greatest Country in America." No, America God is the greatest it. country in the United States. Damn it! It's all right. Just got to keep training. I always get it backwards. Yeah. I keep. I'll keep training. Yeah. All right, Judah Friedlander. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for the love. The next live Jimmy Dore show is November 6th in Burbank, California, and November 12th in Portland, Oregon. Link for tickets right there.